Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation. I'm Dave Carroll, and today we're going to discuss some of the most popular programs under Express Entry Immigration. For information to our viewers, this topic has been covered on our website under latest news articles this month. So Colin, Express Entry is the main driver behind economic class immigration to Canada. What are some important details? So as we know, last year was a record year in terms of immigration levels to Canada. 2019, 340,000 newcomers were admitted to Canada under all categories. 60% are economic class, and of that 60%, 200,000, 204,000 uh, comprise all the economic uh, class immigration. Of the 204,000, 110,000 last year came under what's called express entry immigration. Now, what you see in the last couple of years is this movement upwards, a precipitous increase of the numbers of people coming into Canada under express entry immigration. And you'll see by tomorrow, we expect the federal government to put their three-year levels plans on the table. We're probably going to see quite soon 350,000 plus pushing upwards of 360,000 annual admissions to Canada under the economic uh, and family class immigration with the express entry immigration uh, comprising of an increasing number. Now, just for your uh, readership knowledge, for the readership knowledge, what you have is the four main components of express entry are skilled worker, uh, provincial nominee, and you have Canadian experience, and the smallest component is the uh, skilled trades. Now, last year, uh, 58,000 newcomers came to Canada under the skilled worker component of express entry. In second place, the second largest component was the Canadian experience class at 30,000, uh, and the uh, provincial nominee component comprised of 20,000. So overall, 110,000 uh, people coming in under express entry. Now, to get into express entry, readers will know when they come to our website. We uh, Obviously, there's main uh, requirements. You have to have your CLB7s in your language. You have to have a number of criteria to get into the express entry system as a federal skilled worker. That's the biggest component uh, to come in under um, federal express entry uh, immigration. Mm. So Colin, let's provide our viewers some insight into the provincial breakdowns. So in terms of the provinces, what, what happens is when you're applying as a federal skilled worker under express entry, everyone has to indicate their destination. It's not a secret. Most people want to go to Ontario. So if you look at the numbers in 2019, the biggest number, the biggest draw to Canada under federal skilled worker, under express entry, under four components, that includes federal skilled worker and the other three components that I mentioned, just under 70,000 people are going to the province of Ontario. And this, the, the second place province, which is a distant second, is British Columbia at 20,000. So just more than triple, uh, you know, we're looking at a number that's triple 20,000, all interested in going into Ontario. That has its own demographic issues, uh, where Toronto is the biggest driver of newcomers coming into Canada. So under your general application, everyone indicates the province of destination. It's no secret, Ontario is by far the biggest driver. And third is Alberta at 8,000. And then everyone else is, you know, a distant, uh, Nova Scotia surprisingly is at 3,300, uh, Manitoba and all the other provinces. Very important to know, Quebec does not participate on the express entry system, which means if anyone wants to go to Quebec, and we all know, the people inside the industry know, 30,000, 33,000 people come to Quebec. Uh, as part of the 340,000, Quebec has its own immigration rules. Very interesting side of the uh, equation. Of course, that's another topic, but Quebec is not included in the numbers that we're talking about today. Now, uh, important to note um, that um, in addition to express entry, you can get into Canada under the provincial nomination programs. So all the provinces participate in express entry. So in order to get into the express entry system, you have to have the main requisites to get in. Again, language, 
you have to have 67 points. But for people who don't have, for example, CLB7, what are your options? Your options are look at a province. And inside the province programs, provincial nomination, they have the power and it's, it's like separate labor markets, separate selection programs. We all know if you want to go into a province and you don't qualify for federal skilled worker express entry, you do have options. You can go under a provincial program, which most of them require you to have a hiring sponsor employer. And if you have a sponsor employer, then you will be able to still navigate your way into Canadian permanent residence even if you don't have necessarily the skilled federal skilled worker requisites. Now, the provinces select, all told, not including, uh, well, including Quebec, all of the provinces are going to account for about 90,000 immigrants to Canada. And that's not federal express entry. That is individual programs under a province most of them you need a job. Quebec is different. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and in addition to the provinces, you have sub-pilot projects, the Atlantic Pilot Project, the Municipal Pilot Project. You have new projects that are coming on the table, new immigration programs, where they're typically going to start out at 5,000, where individuals can go into those programs. Most of them, let's not hide the realities, you need a sponsoring employer. So if you don't have, for example, your CRS score of 470, which is where we're at now, um, that is not, it's not insurmountable for you to come to Canada. Uh, so again, uh, you're gonna look to finding a job to come to Canada, and that will be your ticket into the uh, big and growing numbers of 340,000 annual admissions. We're going to see 2020. I am almost certain, not, not healthy to predict future, mm -hmm. but I would say to you, more than 350,000 will be coming to Canada in 2020, and a growing number, over 100,000, will be coming in through the various provincial programs. Again, having a hiring sponsor employer, it is crucial for many people. So it seems to me like we understand clearly that uh, for some candidates, the deciding factor, whether we succeed to Canada or not, is that job offer. Can you elaborate maybe on some of the uh, resources that we provide our clients? Absolutely. So uh, as we have uh, mentioned in the past, all our clients hiring our services uh, under an, a, a mandate with our office, we provide a, a, a search and a, an employment job search uh, assistance. Everyone gets our job search package. And that includes uh, a very comprehensive database of what we know to be hiring employers. Uh, and we provide what we have now lately uh, in the last three months we've put out and developed our very own unique modules that help individuals uh, identify who is hiring and where in the country. So we use uh, a number of modules that are tailor-made for our firm uh, and we've been building out these modules to help individuals identify who is hiring and where. Uh, and again, we're using LinkedIn. Uh, we give tremendous tutorials uh, and uh, insight. And our latest modules, which we're going to be uh, offering all our clientele, uh, will be able to help them find a job. So if you don't have your 470 score, which was the latest draw, uh, finding an employer in Canada in these very uh, good economic times in terms of the labor market. So we have labor market challenges across the country. And we, uh, uh, it's, it's been a philosophy for us for, for many years, uh, through skilledworker.com and grnofmontreal.com, uh, we offer employment search consulting assistance. We don't, obviously, we can't guarantee uh, that you're going to find employment, but we give you tremendous resources. So if you don't have your 470 CR CRS score, uh, which is the latest requirement, uh, we do uh, give you tremendous insight and resources on how to overcome the shortfall in the CRS score that you're going to need. And again, your ticket is finding an employer and we have the knowledge on, 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 and the coaching and uh, insight on how you're going to be able to do that. Great. Well, as always, Colin, thank you so much for the insight. And uh, don't forget to like us on uh, social media, follow us on all the platforms. Um, we're on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. Uh, and as always, we'll see you next time. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you soon.